In today's video, I'm going to share with you my entire Louis Vuitton collection that includes all my handbags, accessories, and small leather goods. I'm also going to rank them. Basically, I'm going to show you in the order of what I would repurchase today if I were to start from scratch. If you've been following my channel for a while, you would know that my LV collection, it has changed drastically. I do associate my style more with Chanel, but I still love Louis Vuitton for its practicalness. Whether you're starting your journey in Louis Vuitton luxury or if you're a seasoned collector, I am almost sure that you would agree with me that the six key holder is one of the must-have. I'm personally a big fan of this configuration because I love being just able to find this in my handbag without even looking because I just know the feel of it. It holds very well in your hands. And once I find it, I just open it and all my keys are at a glance. This is one of my most used items. And since COVID, I've also been able to just sanitize it, not with hand sanitizer, obviously, just with very mild 50% alcohol with a cotton pad. The second item I would say is probably one of my most used and definitely has been worth its money like well over many times already is the slim card holder i love how robust and simple it is it's just glazed quite thickly around it it only has the three compartments the middle one and the two ones on the side and it's pretty straightforward i usually have about four or five cards in here so one in front one in the back and maybe two or three on the inside this is just such a reliable item i don't even need to baby it it's just so easy and so affordable still like it's in the $300 range with taxes it's just a really amazing item to start off with um, and something that is actually practical that I really do use on a daily basis now I do have two more SLGs to show you and as you can see they are in their dust bags and the reason is because these two I actually don't really use and surprisingly one of the item is the mini bushet and I did use this item for a while but I think ever since downsizing and also with COVID I'm really taking the minimum with me I try to touch less and less things therefore this has really even become less used even less used than before but it is nevertheless one of the items that is a must-have in your collection if you do like pouches. So the next small leather goods and my last small leather goods that I still have in my collection is the Emily wallet. Do you guys even remember this wallet at all? <laughs> it's the very beautiful, slim and simple Emily wallet. Mine is in the fuchsia color again and um, it is the older design. I think there was the newer design that came out eventually. I have since then started downsizing maybe a couple years in after buying this and just started using card holders instead. I don't carry coins with me. So this really has become more and more obsolete, but I still keep it in my collection because it's such a beautiful item. Like I said earlier, my handbag collection has changed drastically. So let's go over this one. This is one of the most beautiful handbags that I still own from Louis Vuitton because it is their empreinte leather. This is called the Twice, or it was actually called the Twin Set originally, and then it was called the Clutch, uh, and then it was called the Twice, I think at the end. It's just one of those designs that came and went and it's really unfortunate because now they do have other pouches as well and they have the thicker straps and the detachable straps and everything but i feel like the original design or at least this one that i have is really the most classic and you really cannot go wrong it's like literally the most timeless version i would still never wipe this bag like i would not sanitize this bag because it is leather but this is as durable as you can get if you want a leather bag that is sort of your pandemic bag, you know, a bag that you really just go out with and, you know, do your errands and not have to worry a single bit, this is the one. This is also the reason why this bag never leaves my collection. It is just one of the most classic, uh, simple sort of uh, pouch bag. And this is just so roomy too. Like it's pretty much as roomy as this bag. Um, which is why I would say if I were to redo the order, 
uh, I would still repurchase this first, except that this is not really available in the retail, which is why I'm going to show this one next. Aside from the traveling potential that it has, the other reason why I like this bag a lot is that you can use it separately. And especially with the smaller pouch or even the larger pouch, you can use them individually as more of an evening bag. And that also ties in with the traveling aspect of it, especially when you're traveling, you don't want to bring as many things with you. The only flaw with this one is that the strap that is the most pretty strap on this bag doesn't have its own clip, which only would work in the small pouch. So whenever you want to use the bigger pouch, you either have to use uh, no straps or you use other straps that uh, you can buy from other companies. I have a bunch over here. I also have another one that is super chunky that I showed you guys from before that are from Samorga. And thank you Samorga for sponsoring this part of the video. Uh, I cannot for the life of me find that chunkier one, but I will put a cutaway. That chunkier one is just absolutely stunning because it's so big. It really reminds me of the Bottega strap. It's so huge and so ridiculously chunky and heavy that it really dresses up this bag to a whole other level, which I think it's amazing. But if you find that too chunky or too crazy for you, because it is like a really heavy strap, like I'm not gonna lie, it is one of the most absolutely stunning, chunky and super heavy strap. And if you find that this is a little too extra for you, then I do suggest maybe one of these. I don't particularly think that this will dress up your bag, but it's just a fun option if you're into acrylic. This other one you've also probably seen on my channel. It turns out that this is actually a clip for your gloves, which I had no idea, but I thought that when I first saw it, I thought that it looked super cute and dainty with the smaller pouch, which is the reason why I chose it but it turns out to be a glove clip which is actually what I'm gonna use it for now this is a new one that I just received from them perfect in between not heavy but still very chunky looking and it has more of an interesting look because it does taper from slim to fatter and then back to slim and I love that it has these large clips Sometimes when the clips are too dainty, it doesn't give that statement look. So these large clips absolutely does that and it really goes with either bag actually. Their chains are also 24 karat gold plated, especially if you don't want to bother with buying a clutch because maybe you don't really have that many evening uh, things to go to and you don't want to spend that money for something that, that you don't really use. So this is a great pandemic bag, but it also has great potential for traveling and as an evening option when you're traveling. So now the bigger pouch has just transformed into a really great evening clutch bag. You have a bit more substance and you still have a little strap to hold on to it and to really use it as a clutch for evening and still have that bling factor. And I love how the round clips are you know they just give more of a statement versus another dainty clip which is attached to another dainty or clip so this gives more of a evening feel to me like when you're holding it in your hands so i love these chains and you can even use this on your speedy which i will show you later this is the original look which is beautiful like don't get me wrong i absolutely love the original daintiness of it and sometimes you just want an original chain on your bags but sometimes you just want to have a little bit more fun you might also remember that i have organizers for this bag as well they're not completely necessary but i love having it especially on the larger pouch because i don't want hand sanitizer or anything liquid to spill out so this really becomes a great liner protection and it also gives it a bit more structure it does not stand on its own though this pochette is more curved and i did get this question asked on whether adding a bag organizer will help it stand on its own. I don't think so just because of the way it is. As you can see, it's really more curved on the bottom. With the coin pouch, I also added the uh, liner for it as well, also from Samorga. So I will link those down below. With this coin pouch, I have still yet to use it on a daily basis, but I am really hoping that once we do travel, that I will really get to know all these different components of the bag and really see if it's how I envisioned it. But as far as I know, 
on a daily basis use. I definitely love the bigger pouch with the bigger strap because this is extremely comfortable. And these straps are really expensive if you were to buy them on their own. For sure, the Neville Flow is going to be part of my collection all the time. If I were to lose both my Never Folds, the Never Fold will be back in my collection in no time. This is really the most no-brainer handbag. In my luxury live show, we also had an episode where we discuss basic handbags and you guys can watch it, it's really fun. If you really wanted to call it basic, that's fine. But I feel like it's basic for a reason. It's because it's so practical and it's so easy. It literally, you do not have to think about it and you can throw things in it and run out the door. Um, I still feel like no matter how basic a handbag is or common, uh, you really can still style it really well. It really just depends on how you wear everything else clothing, accessories, handbags, uh, even your hair actually. So it really does not matter that a bag is more common in my opinion. I have two of them, so call me common, that's fine. But the Neverfull is absolutely at the top of the list of any Louis Vuitton bags that I would repurchase first. So it's either this or maybe the, uh, the smaller bag that I showed you earlier. But they really are equal to me because they are both just so easy and because they're so easy, they are common because people like to have an easy handbag, don't they? So I'm not necessarily gonna buy another personalized, never full, but I did wanna show it just because it is part of my collection. I do have a whole video where I talked about my thought process, uh, so you can uh, rewatch that. I'm gonna have that linked down below. But um, this is basically the same thing as earlier. It's just that this is personalized and a little bit more expensive. I don't necessarily think that if I were to restart from scratch that I would just go straight to a personalized one. I feel like even sometimes these stickers can appear a bit loud or just a lot, which is a little harder to style, which is why I still feel like the classic version is really the, a no-brainer. The next little handbag that I would repurchase if I were to rank these things in order would be the little petit sac plat and I do have a little clip here um, that um, is not part of the bag so let's remove that but this is just a little luggage tag that you get when you have um, I think a keep all 45. This handbag I bought it last year but haven't really had a lot of opportunity to use it um do watch my review video where i explain my reasoning behind this bag but essentially i always in the past so pre-covid time i always had a need for really small thin phone bags and this really just fit the bill much more novelty and so much more interesting i still think that i would probably repurchase this if i were to really just stick with a family of Louis Vuitton bags and I wanted something that is totally different. It's a whole different look and a whole different vibe. Uh, it really just fits your bare essential. Like it's a phone bag. It really is just a phone bag. So um, I would probably, if I were just to build LV collection from scratch and if I was only into LV, I would definitely uh, add this to my collection because I think it's a it's kind of one of those classic things modern classic novelty things that you need in your collection but i do have a version from chanel that i uh, actually absolutely love so they are kind of competing and last but not least i have the last two handbags in my collection which i would rank them as the absolute last of uh whether i would add it back in my collection in fact i am trying to sell this one so anyone who is interested but let's just talk about the bags for a minute so the speedy b25 I have such a love-hate relationship with this bag. I love it because I love how classic it looks. When I bought this bag, I was still very much into LV a lot and I was still very much into the brand a lot and into the looks a lot and Monogram was just one of my favorite new things at the time. So even though I did end up selling the Speedy B25 in the other print, the Damier Ben print, I just couldn't stop thinking about the look itself, not the bag itself, because like using this bag, I really have a love-hate relationship with getting in and out of this bag. That's just personal. But in terms of styling and just like how this bag looks on someone when 
someone carries it, like when I carry it, I just fall in love all over again with it. This BD has been around since 1930s, so it's just one of those things. It's like you cannot get away from how classic it looks. Love having it, but I don't love using it. So big turmoil, irony, whatever you call it with this bag, which is why it's pretty low in the ranking. Louis Vuitton Spring Street. It is an absolutely stunning handbag. There is truly nothing bad about it. It's just that I don't use it. This was a replacement for the Palm Springs when the store could not get me the Palm Springs at the time. And whenever they did have a Palm Springs, which was once, it was really wrinkly and beat up. Like I just don't understand the manufacturing at the time was just terrible. So I was out of time, I suppose, and I had to pick something and I picked this bag. So this bag on its own is absolutely stunning and beautifully made and worth the money because you're getting leather, you're getting the boxy signature LV design. There's also a guitar strap that comes with this bag. Uh, it's just the whole package. However, I just don't use this bag, which is why I'm selling it. I would consider this to be the same category as the Speedy Wear. It would be a great bag to just own because of how classic. This actual bag is a redesign of an older version of a similar bag that they used to own. So it really is an iconic shape and design that they the house has. Uh, it's just that I don't personally use it, which is why it's ranked really, really low. <laughs> my last handbag in my collection. But it's absolutely beautiful in terms of craftsmanship. And really, uh, it is worth the money that you know, if, if you were to buy one, I, I do think that it's worth the money if you're totally into the look and totally going to use it. Right now, I'm wearing the Initials A uh, pendant, and this is at the shortest setting. You can also make it a little longer. It's pretty much a classic piece, and it's so easy to throw on, literally, if you're wearing a simple t-shirt or a simple sweater, and you just want to just have a little bit of a bling without going overboard and without having to think too much, just throw on your Initials necklace. The other necklace that I have uh, is from their fine jewelry line. So this one is their locket pendant and it is absolutely beautiful. It is in 925 silver, especially the little lock is very, very cute. I wear this one a lot less just because I do have to undo it and put it on, which I'm a little lazy about. Whereas this one, if I wear it on the larger setting, then I can just throw it on without having to open the clasp and it's just so much easier. Let me know if you're the same. With me, I prefer to remove all my jewelry when I come home. So this is not really something that I would wear day in and day out. So two of the accessories that I still have in my collection are the reversible belt. So this is the initials reversible belt. This is definitely a statement item because it is all monogram and gold. The underneath of mine is in a bright red color, which is beautiful. When I bought this item a few years ago, I believe it was around 2016, I was still wearing more of the mid-rise or low-rise jeans, whereas now I'm more into high-rise or even if it's mid-rise, I don't really wear a belt anymore. I actually don't really wear belts for their functionality. I wear them to style because was wearing the lower waisted pants before I got it in a size 80, which uh, does not fit my higher size pants. So um, those of you who are interested, let me know. I am letting some of these things go. The other accessory that I have that is also pretty much unused ever since I no longer have my uh, pochette mitsis and I no longer have my Palm Springs mini. Those poor bags have left my collection, but outside of my own control, the store took them back and I never was able to find a replacement. So ever since then, I wasn't able to really use the uh, bandoulier. Luckily, the trend of thicker straps is still really, really in. It's just that I don't really have any bags that I need this strap on, I think. That's the reason why I haven't used it at all. The final accessory, which I keep in this dust bag, but it does not come in a dust bag, is my only Louis Vuitton shawl that I have left in my collection. I used to also have the black one, which I bought in Europe, but hardly used. So I have since sold the black one and kept the blue one just because I have worn this one a lot more. I would still recommend it, I think, for just how timeless 
the monogram logo is, especially if you're into a good logo. Uh, but if you're not into a logo, then maybe skip this. But like I said, this is such a signature Louis Vuitton monogram look and the blue color really does bring out my skin tone. So I do love having one of these. I don't wear it as often anymore, but I did remember whenever I did wear this, it was usually more in the summer. We have such cool, breezy spring summer days here in Vancouver that sometimes it just gets a bit too cold, even in the summer. So that's my entire Louis Vuitton collection, everything from handbags, accessories, and as you can see, it's not as big anymore. Let me know which are your favorite Louis Vuitton bags. And if you're brand new here, I would love to have you back. So please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.